so here we are standing at uh, the Landless People's Land Liberation Movement. Bottom line is at Decolonize Academy, homefulness with the sacred land, and Poor Magazine, Prensa Pobre, Poor News Network, that's PNN, not CNN, people. We need people to help us actually build the first straw bale house. Build! Because if we don't get your dollars, your conscious dollars, we will not be able to build. This is what I normally do every Thursday. Making hot dogs for the East Mod neighborhood. I do this mainly as a form of sweat equity. It's one of the conditions upon living here at Homefulness. For me, Homefulness means everyone has a home, even plants and animals. Homefulness also means there's nothing the system could give us that we can't teach, build, or ourselves. My name is uh, Emeterio, and everybody call me Güero. I come here to work, to do labor work, and we are building a foundation for the house, the house back there, mm -hmm. and here I like whatever I do, I do my, my best I can do, I'm a general contractor uh, with no license, and uh, my opinion is uh, I learned enough to build, in a, to build a buildings. Hey yo, welcome to Hopefulness. Come in, come in, come in. Mi casa es tu casa. I go by the name of Mutiado. Um, you know, I've been with Porn Magazine for 11 years, you know, now about, about 11, 12 years. Um, they always, it wasn't always like this, you know, a lot of people think that uh, one day, you know, we just woke up and, and then we have uh, this blessing to have this piece of land. You know, it's been a process, you know, and a lot of people ask, how, how did you guys do it, you know? Uh, the, the dream of homefulness has been for 16 years that my sister and Mama D, you know, uh, started, you know, and they started when they were actually living homeless, uh, homeless you know, they were living homeless here, uh, uh, you know, when they started up. You know, they seen that a lot of organizations that help poor people is, is led by people who have never have struggled themselves, you know, and, mm -hmm. and so they want to flip the, the script on that. Yeah. And the way we were able to have the blessings to, to, to get this piece of land is that uh, throughout the years we have done uh, workshops around why was it important for people with racing class privilege to be able to give back some of those stolen resources. So right now you find yourself here in this beautiful homefulness, uh, which also, uh, it was community led. This whole building w was remodeled by us, by myself, by Teo, by people here in the community that we hired, uh, who knew who had the skills to do building. Uh, this beautiful garden also was started by us, by the community. Um, after that, we started working in the two classrooms um, where we remodeled, literally, you know, myself, Guero, and, and Don Roberto did the floors, we did the walls, everything you see here was done by us, and, you know, we take a lot of pride in that, you know, because none of us have formal education, uh, none of us went to school to learn how to do construction, we just simply know what we call uh, underground economic uh, and survival skills mm -hmm. uh, that I learned when I was a day laborer, you know, uh, about seven years ago. Mm -hmm. And so I got the blessing right now to, to live here in this beautiful piece mm -hmm. of land that was created by us, you know, and my mother, this is Roselia. Salud, Emma. Hola, Roselia. ¿Quiere decir algo usted? Oh, yeah? Sí, te traduzca se diría un poquito de su historia. Yo vengo de Michoacán. So I know from Michoacán. Rosella, pero vivía por la 51. Uh, before we used to stay and live at 51st Avenue. En una casa bien chiquita. We, we used to live in a really small house. Y, it was uh, also infested by cockroaches. Y como yo estoy enferma, me hacía daño. Y because I'm sick, you know, I had diabetes. Um, me convidó a mi hijo a vivir aquí vivo con él y me mantiene. So my son, you know, invited me to be part of homefulness. And he takes care of me. Porque tengo muchos problemas para caminar y él me cuida. Also now I'm having more and more trouble with walking and with my knees. Le doy gracias a Dios porque la prensa pobre nos ha ayudado. And I think the Creator and prensa pobre because uh, they're the ones that they found it. Y vivo a gusto aquí, la güera, todos. 
Tere, we live happily here, you know, we were tiny, yeah. with Tere, we are called Mimi yeah. from Danza Azteca. Yeah. Ya me siento como otra familia aquí. And I feel like uh, I have gained a new family. Yeah. That's what homefulness is. You have the you have the beautiful ceremonies, you have the gardens, you have the beautiful people, you have the animals grazing in peace. And that's part of what homefulness is. And we are very fortunate to start that on a small scale now. We're just getting started, you know, with having the land for the people because due to the gentrification and the eradication, you know, that's going on in the Bay Area. We are being forced from our homes. The rents are going up and then the people are going out. The funds that we got to make homefulness happen did actually come from the people. It came from the community. It came from the beautiful people that we have that has the access to academia and race class privilege. And I want to say that also this was built uh, straight up with the community support. We don't get foundation money because uh, usually when we get foundation money, uh, right away they find uh, the kind of work that we're doing too radical and so they cut the funding because our dream is to actually build uh, some uh, about four straw bed houses and also uh, a cafe in the, in the front. It should be a sliding, a sliding scale cafe which means that if you have money to kick down you can get a meal but if you have, don't have money you can still get a meal. So this actually some of the uh, the actual blueprints that we submitted to the city of Oakland, the the you know they already went through the first phase and got approved. These are actually the straw bell houses that are going to be there, who's going to be housing more families. And again, when we say we are the poor people, we are the the, the affected. Myself, my mother, you know, we we as migrants. So this is it, you know, and and we hope that you know if you can support it and keep homefulness going, it will be great appreciated. If we stop believing that people own land, we can stop the lie of gentrification, colonization, and eviction. So please, please, if you, if you yourselves have resources or know people who can support uh, build homefulness and make homefulness a reality, it will be great appreciated. Get your shit together. Get your spirit and your heart right. Let's change because you can change that and start respecting Mother Nature so she can start taking care of us again. You know, quit fracking on her, raping her, and robbing her, and you know, fucking up the climate and all that. Excuse me for cussing, but you know, I'm being honest. I cuss, even when I'm cussing, I'm honest. You know, quit, quit raping Mother Nature like that so she can take care of us and let her heal. Peace.